Like everyone else, I was sad that I was not a billionaire because I knew about it at $5. The twins bought 200,000 coins at $7, um, and then they dove headlong in. So when it reached 10,000, they had $2 billion. Do they still have all 200,000? Uh, they are big believers in Bitcoin to 250,000. That's what they so say. So they kept it? So they held on to, uh, I believe, most, if not all of it. Um, you know, I don't so they have wrote it down, though. From when it was at its, its peak. They had to write, what's amazing is they wrote it from to 20,000 where they had $4 billion down to 2,000 where they had less than a billion dollars, but now it's back at 8,000. Well, forget the price for a second. Yes. What did you learn about Bitcoin and well, that's whatever a great, it is? And that's a great way to get into it. The price is not indicative of Bitcoin. Right. Bitcoin is the future. I believe that crypto is the future. We're not going to be walking around 25 years from now paying with little strips of paper from a leather wallet. I mean, like medieval peasants bartering for things. We're going to, everything's going digital and crypto money that's backed by math and not a specific country makes sense. We live in a, a world where you want to send a dollar to someone in India in five seconds, the way to do that is something that doesn't have an authority in the middle. Crypto makes sense. I can text you a coin. It's also a way to do it if you want to do a drug deal. Well, that's where it all started. And that's where you're going to have governments that are going to have to decide whether they are allowed. Where they allow it, because it's, yeah. it's money that's not controlled traceable. by anybody and right. not uh, eventually not traceable. That was the idea. And uh, originally, it was all drug dealers buying stuff right. on Silk Road, and that's part of the story. But that's where the Winklevi come in, because they're not those guys. They're the guys in suits, the guys that Larry Summers wants to throw out of his office. They walk into this story, and they see this world of drug dealers and gun people and all these people doing bad things with Bitcoin, and they say, well, let's try and make it a part of the right. New York financial system.